Hey everyone, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this video, I want to take you through a, a simple process of changing a color of an object in your photos. There are different ways and methods of doing this, but I found this particular way um, or method uh, was a lot uh, cleaner, a lot, lot seamless, and, give, and it actually gave a really nice output. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through these three photos and uh, select some of the ob objects or an object from the photo and change the color of it. So let's get started. Before we do though, uh, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of more videos coming up. So let's start with this first photo. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this uh, uh, flower, just the petals. So I'm just gonna use the object selection tool and click and drag over the flower. And this selection actually does a really good job doing the selection. Now, it's obviously selected uh, the middle section as well. I don't want to select the middle section. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, press down on the uh, options button on a Mac and Alt on a, on a PC and then drag uh, on that middle section as well. Now it's deselected that middle section. So it's only now selected these uh, the petals here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group it, um, click on the, um, the the folder icon here and create a new group. Then I'm gonna create a layer mask. Now within that group, I'm gonna add a solid color. I'm gonna choose a color, and you can choose any color you want. I'm gonna choose red and click okay. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the blending mode and choose color. Now it already looks great. If you want to enhance it a bit more, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a levels layer um, adjustment layer and and just play around with the sliders, you know, making it bright or dark as much as you want to best suit your uh, your needs. So that's that one image. Now let's go to another one. Let's try another one. I'm going to select this car. So again, um, object selection tool drag over the car, go into layers, uh, I'm gonna group it, and um, I'm add a layer mask, add a solid color, uh, I'm gonna do it yellow, click OK, and change the blending mode to color. Now, as you can see, the windows here are also that color, what I'm gonna do is go in, click on the layer mask, make sure the foreground is set to um, black, choose a small brush, a soft brush, and just you know, rub off what the parts that you don't want to have that, that new color. And I'm just gonna quickly do this. There we go. And some, I want to uh, bring back some of this up here. There we go. Now the reason why I um, I grouped it, if I don't like it, what I can do is um, simply um, hide the group, and it'll bring back the original color. That's why I always I put it in a group, so it's also non-destructive. Let's go to another image here. I'm going to change the color of this tree. So again, object selection tool and drag over the Christmas tree. I'm going to add a group, a layer mask, then add a solid color. I'm going to probably make it a, a blue. Click OK. Set the blending mode to color and I'm just going to adjust a little bit more with levels. Make it darker, make it right there. That's it. That's how simple it is, guys. I hope uh, I hope you got something out of that. Um, don't forget to comment below. Let me know what your thoughts were. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It will really help us uh, um, on the platform. So again, thanks for watching, guys. Um, enjoy.